So in thinking about tonight uh, and preparing for this type of subject matter with such a great loving brain trust as, as the group that I um, have the honor of sitting with tonight, uh, I wanted to find a, a quote that would capture what I believe our role is as individuals and as a team, as a panel, but yet everyone here taking in this information and, and exchanging. And uh, I found this quote from a book that I'd read a while back, which was definitely an eye-opener for me and, and part of my awakening, so I wanted to read it to you real quick and then we'll set some basic rules. Uh, it was from a book called The Return of the Bird Tribes by Ken Carey. And the quote is, within this second category of angels, long associated with biological life, is a highly specialized circle of beings who are responsible for the education of humankind. While these entities who have been known on rare occasions to take human form clearly have long-term purposes of a more general nature, their immediate goal is freeing of our race from what they have termed the spell of matter. And uh, what a powerful statement to me is to be able to, to look at freeing our mind and to be able to embody who we are in this lifetime, in this body, on this stage at this moment, in our role in this shift. And that would be the basic perspective is that there is a shift. Not is there going to be, is there not? Uh, and I think more importantly, I definitely wanted to make sure that we are coming from a place of truth and that we are coming from a place of positivity. This is not a uh, discussion of Armageddon that's in the room down the hall. Uh, and so I wanted to be able to focus tonight and we'll now share our information from with that, that basic premise. Uh, I will be addressing two to three of you for each question and we'll kind of go with the flow. I don't want it so regimented that we can't have fun. And uh, if anybody feels so passionate about a subject, go ahead and uh, let me know and, and you can have your say. Um, so my first question, I'm going to address Darshini. And uh, my question is, do you believe the shift and any associated events is to take place on, around, or after the December 21, 2012 planetary alignment? Okay. I've been rather verbal about this because, quite frankly, I strongly believe that the shift happened, um, started, the energy came in on uh, this year, uh, March 13th and 14th. Um, there was a rash of suicides, I'm talking about clients coming to me before that, which is a huge indication that shifts are happening, plus also that um, the shift um, indication is that a lot of people were di getting dizzy, not with vertigo, but basically because they're being affected by the shift. Um, as for that specific date, I really feel it's not exactly in the end culmination, but it's really, I feel the date is going to be in November 2012. Is that more or less in summary? Mm, yeah, thank you for that interesting perspective. Mm -hmm. Tashia, do you have an opinion to go along with that? I absolutely agree with Darshini in saying that I too don't think it's going to be the cataclysmic event that many of us are visioning that we've been hearing about in the media. But I think it's going to be more of a shift in how we interact with each other how we move amongst each other on the planet. I think that life and on earth is going to move us to unite in evolutionary ways. That we're going to be forced to unite, much like what happened on 9-11. And, and there's kind of like a joke that some of the African American comedians talk about. They say that folks were working together after 9-11 that had never even talked to each other. And that's kind of what I see this shift looking like. Like, we're going to go, hey, you have some seeds, I got some seeds. You got potatoes, I got tomatoes. We got to get together. <laughs> so I see some of those kinds of shifts happening in terms of our unity. I also see the healing looking much different. I feel like we're not going to have the access that we do to Western medicine. And that it's going to force us, I say, to go back and reclaim. We call it Sankofa in the Yoruba tradition. We talk about Sankofa. You must go back and reclaim that which was to move forward. And so I think we're going to be called to reclaim the indigenous medicine, 
that healed us, not just treated the symptoms, but healed us. And I'm gonna be quiet because I know these other speakers have great, great things to say about this, but it's, I'm excited about it. I feel like we need it if the earth is to survive, if we as humanity are to survive. I feel like we have to have a shift. And, and I really, really agree with Darshini. It's already taking place. I see it too in the, the people that are coming forward, the quest for healing, the desire to connect with spirit. You this know, is, the, the this is what gifts. I love about this topic, if I may, is, is the ability for us, as you were saying, to be able to watch this. Once you are aware of the shift and you start paying attention to your own awakening, the most fun is to actually be able to sit back and, and, and watch it evolve, right? The good and the not so good or not so comfortable. Uh, but that's the fun part. So uh, let's move on. Thank you.